Thank you very much, Steve. Well, a Stillwater man arrested Sunday for drunk driving could lose his license, and it is not the first time that he has gotten into trouble while behind the wheel. Police say Lewis Parker had his license revoked seven times since 1997. And this arrest comes days after another driver was picked up driving backwards. And it turns out that guy has 20 active suspensions on his license. So tonight we are asking what it takes to get these frequent violators off the roads for good. Brandon Lewis live in the newsroom tonight. And Brandon, what'd you find out? Well, Dory, Governor Cuomo, you may remember, issued an order back in September. If you have five drunk driving convictions or three convictions in a serious offense like a fatal crash, you could permanently lose your license. And since then, the DMV has denied driving privileges to more than 3,000 people, but some say more still needs to happen. After several high-profile incidents of drunk driving, Governor Cuomo ordered the DMV to help keep drunk drivers off the road. Since September of last year, nearly 1,700 drivers were permanently denied renewal. Another 1,500 were given an extra five years of revocation. And certainly we have compassion for their addiction, but that compassion for their addiction can go above and beyond our obligation to protect innocent, honest, law-abiding citizens. For several years, Assemblyman Tedisco has worked on Charlotte's Law in memory of Charlotte Gallo, who was killed in a Schenectady crosswalk by a driver with a lengthy history of traffic violations. If passed, it would revoke driving privileges for any three serious violations and give a harsher penalty for those who disregard a revocation. Any time a law enforcement official stops you in a vehicle driving, you go to jail for four years. You don't have to be breaking any other law. Those chambers, those bullets in the gun are all loaded. You don't get another chance once you, you've lost your driving privileges. That's why this is a real deterrent. The courts have made it clear driving is a privilege, not a right, which makes it easier to change laws and penalties. Still, there could be opposition and legal challenges to Charlotte's law or any other pushes to increase prison time for repeat offenders. I also think at some point perhaps someone's going to say, look, young person, this is a lifetime for me, and maybe someone's going to try to challenge this law and say that the punishment is too harsh. And Charlotte's law was proposed before, but Tedisco says there's talk the four-year penalty may be too harsh and three years may be considered. There's also distractions coming from the Vito Lopez and Sheldon Silver investigations, so he's concerned it could take time away from those talks that needed to uh, just pass Charlotte's law. Live in the newsroom, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News. Brandon, I know some of this talk had surfaced following the deadly crash on the Northway late last year. Of course, two Shen students were killed. Dennis Drew had dozens of citations, suspensions on his license. Where does that case uh, stand against him and uh, accused of hitting these teens? Yeah, uh, Dory actually spoke with the Saratoga County DA's office this afternoon. Uh, they said the defense filed several motions in the case, and they've just finished responding to those. The judge now uh, reviewing all those, so they could announce a court date as early as next week still making its way through the court system right now. All right. We'll be curious to see what happens. Thank you very much, Brandon, live in our newsroom tonight.